What's up everyone? Welcome to your 45 minute single dumbbell arms and abs workout. Grab one dumbbell and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your workout. I want to get you set up so we can jump right into this workout. Today you're only going to be using one dumbbell at a time. I have a 20 pound dumbbell and a 10 pound dumbbell. For the most part today I'll be using my 20 but I do also want to have an option for you just in case you need to drop down. We've got single side work and we've got double handed work as well but just one dumbbell at a time. So maybe grab one or two options for yourself. Also your water and your sweat towel. Okay we're going to get right into the warm up. So big deep breath in. Set your options to the side. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, big cross as you cross, round your upper back just a bit. And then when you open, really open your shoulders and your chest. Hitting arms and abs today. In your rest period, feel free to jog just a little bit. I know this is strength and conditioning week. For the most part, we're just gonna keep moving today. Okay, three, Two, one, good. Just give me your left arm. Big circles out front. Three rounds of everything today. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, and switch. Three, two, arms out to the side right here, twist. Good job, think rib over to the opposite hip. Three, two, one, arms right here to the front, reach and pull back. Two, one, good, arms past your body. Good, last one, hands on your tailbone. Gentle push forward. Good, come back to neutral. Exhale again. Good job, one more, big deep breath in. Exhale. Good work. Let your body kind of ragdoll down and just relax your arms, relax your head. Good job. Make your way into a pike position. And out into a plank. Good job. Give me toe taps on the opposite side. Tap and tap. Four. Three. Two. And one. Drop to your knees. Good job. Give me three push ups. Nice and slow. Full extension. And three. Come on up in 15 seconds. We're back up. We're gonna start with a shoulder press on the left side, okay? I'm gonna use my 20. All right, we're gonna go Arnold right here. Up and around. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 45 right here. Good job. And if you wanna add a little core component here, feel free to bring your knee up as you bring your arm down, a little crunch, totally optional. 15. Two, one, good. 15 seconds rest, you do the same thing on the other side. We've got three rounds of this superset, okay? The knee to elbow is totally optional. All right, other side. Two, one, let's go.
Good, 15 seconds. Five, four. And rest, good job. All right, we're taking it back to the left side. This time I want you to take your arm to the side, right outside your ear and up, okay? Which means if you're adding that knee, you're going to the side. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen. One more, three, two, rest, good job. Other side, same thing, we're going 12. Two, one. And press, come on. Let's finish out round two right here. Add the knee if you want. Let's keep it neutral on this one, okay? So start here, open it up to the front. So your hand faces middle, and then open. All right, knee drive is optional, just make sure the shoulder's working. Let's go. Good, just a nice close stack right here. Elbow right under your wrist. Five, right here, and we'll switch to the other side. Last one, three, two, rest. 15, and we switch sides, and then we're gonna go into one minute of cardio, okay? I'll show you what we're doing. Just keeping it moving, all right? Five, let's go right here. Stack it up, two, one, press and open. Good job. Breathe. Last 15. Two, one. Good. Drop that dumbbell off to the side. Give me a jog. Let's just go right into it. Forwards, backwards. Come on. If you're doing low impact, tapping it up right here. Good job. Now butt kicks back here. Let's go. Good, stop in the middle right here. Punch, 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 let's go. Three. 
three, two, right here, punch the sky. 15, 14. Good, five more, five, four, three, two, one. Grab some water. One dumbbell again. We're gonna go front raise and rotate back down, okay? You can use a lighter or heavier weight. All right, just to show you what it looks like. Lift, turn, middle, down. And we're just gonna alternate sides, okay? So 10 seconds and we'll go. I'm gonna use my lighter weight here for this one, for round one. Four, three, lift and turn to the right, let's go. Back down and the next one, go to the left. Good, use your core to rotate, use your shoulders to hold. Fifteen. One more, three, two, one. Good job. Rest and you got two more rounds of that, okay? If you can go heavier, maybe at the start of the second round, let's try it. If you need to drop, the weight is right there, right? Three, two, one, let's go. Up, twist, and back down. Great job. Control the lower and the lift. <laughs> 10, nine. Two, one, good, rest. All right, one more time. <sighs> Lighter weight. Heavier if you haven't tried it yet. Okay, go to where you're challenged. Last round, three, two, one, come on. Good, exhale, twist. Make sure you're not lifting and just spinning so it's not this, okay? Lift, twist. Back to the middle, lower. Fourteen. Two, one. All right, good job. Take your heavier dumbbell and head down to the ground. We're going toe touches. All right, we're gonna go right into it, right here in seven. Okay, three, two, let's go. Fifteen. One more, two, one, good, rest. All right, two more rounds, same thing. If you can go a little heavier, I want you to try, okay? This exercise is not just for the burn, it is for the contraction, the hold, okay? Here we go. Two, one, let's go up. Good. 
Good, think of pressing that dumbbell right up to the sky. Fifteen. Four. Two, one, good job. All right, rest, we got one more time through. Heavier if you can, add a little bit of a rib focus here. So when you go up, make sure, exhale, depress the ribs. Three, last round, two, one, and go. Good job, breathe. One more, three, two, one. Dumbbell down, stand up in 15 seconds. You got that same cardio minute, okay? We start off with the jog, then we go to the butt kick, then the punches, then the punch jacks. Ready? Come on, three, two, let's go. Butt kicks, two, one, let's go, back here. Three, two, right in the middle, punch, let's go. Punch the sky, three, two, one, go, go, go. Good, a little quicker now, let's go. Six, five, three, two, one, breathe, good job. Go ahead and grab some water. We're gonna head down to some floor combos, arms and abs. All right, we've got a sit up and side tap, okay? So we're gonna take the dumbbell, potentially your lighter one, okay? We're gonna pull it from overhead, all right? Overhead, sit up, touch, chest. Overhead, sit up, touch, chest, okay? Let's go, three, two, one. We got a little tricep work in the overhead reach, right? Straight arm, and then you're pulling back in to the chest. Resistance in the sit up, cross and back. Two, one, rest, good. You're gonna switch arms, same thing. Quick technique, rounds two and three, we're gonna go back to back. For this one, when you reach overhead, elbow is bent, but you're not bending it more, okay? Reach, pull here to your chest, fight against that for the setup. Let's go.
10. One more, four. Two, one, and rest. Round two, we're gonna go right, left, without stopping. Then we'll breathe, okay? Eight, seven. Three, two, let's go. Good job, come on. You're doing great. Fifteen, and you switch. Last one, three, two, one. Switch sides, keep going. Seconds, come on. One more, three, two, one, and rest. Now here's my challenge to you. If you can go to the next weight up, I want you to try that, okay? We got one more round. Focus on the tricep here, okay? Focus on your back muscle. Three, two, one, Let's go. Good. Last one. Three, two, one. Next time you go back, switch arms. Let's go. Fifteen seconds, come on. Three, two, one. All right, come on up. You know what's coming. That cardio minute, okay? Sprint, butt kicks, punches, punch jacks. Five seconds. If you're up and ready, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. Three, butt kicks, two, one, back here, go. Keep moving your arms. Good. Five seconds, we're punching. Three, two, one, go. Boom. Come on, give me a good cardio acceleration minute right here. Two, one, and we're up. Water. Good. 
Good job, we're standing and we're using the heavy dumbbell for this next one. All right, starting off with my left hand. I'm gonna go hammer curl, high row, okay? Watch how my hand rotates. Neutral for the hammer curl, rotate it towards my thigh. High row, I'm coming out towards outside of my rib armpit area, okay? Five seconds and we'll go. Three, two, right here. Take your time here. This is not how fast can you do it, it's how well can you connect with your bicep. Fifteen. Two, one, rest for 15, good job. Same thing on the other side. Remember, neutral right here. Don't let your elbows scoot out when you curl. If you notice this happening first, it might be a little too heavy, okay? Keep it here. Two, one, let's go. Totally okay to look down at your bicep to kind of make that mind-muscle connection. Same thing, 45, rest 15, 45. If you can go heavier, let's do it, okay? Three, two, let's go. Good work. side. Just keep remembering muscle connection, okay? Feel the squeeze here as you shorten your bicep. Three, two, one, let's go. I want you to really push it here, okay? Last one, each side. Then we'll hit that cardio minute. Two, one. Good, pull 
pull, pull, pull. Come on. 14. Two. Rest. Good. One last rest period. 15 seconds here. Cardio minute. Then we'll hit some core. Okay? You're doing fantastic. Four. Last arm, last side on this one. Two, one, let's go. Almost there, 15. Seven. Three, two, rest, good job. 15 seconds, drop your dumbbell, and we're going for that cardio acceleration minute. High knee jog, or sprint, hopefully we can sprint here. Three, two, one, let's go. Just breaking it up a little bit, okay? Good, move, move, move. Two, one, back kicks back here, go. Good, quick, 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 quick. We got four, three, punch, two, one, go. Three, two, to the sky, let's go. Good, a little quicker, six, five. Two, one, breathe. All right, come on down to your elbows. Plank body saw, okay? Taking it down to the forearms, you're gonna feel it in the shoulders and the core on this one, okay? Whew. All right, so I'm gonna roll my mat up just to give me a little bit more cushion. Feel free to do the same thing if you'd like. Elbows are down, feet are back. You're pushing forward, back. Let's go in three. Two, one, here we go. it here you don't need to move fast you just need to hold strong Rest, come onto your knees, set back, just come off your hands in some way. Two more rounds of that, okay? <sighs> there you go, there's that big deep breath we needed. <laughs> Five, here we go, elbows down. Plank, three, two, one, let's go. Think about your hip bones gliding across the surface of a table. Okay, like someone's using you to wipe a table. Forwards, backwards. Good job, 15. time. Woo. And then we're going to hit a lighter dumbbell weight oblique move. Here we go. Five, four, 
two, last round, go. Good job, push through the discomfort, push through the idea that you can drop. Okay, you can shake a little bit. You can reposition. Pull your belly button closer to your tailbone. Pull your ribs back neutral. Tighten your legs up. Tighten your glutes up. And hold tight for eight more seconds because I know you can. Yep, 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 yep. You're almost there. Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Rest. Good. Great work. Okay. We're moving on to some oblique work. And a lot of the rotation work that we've done today does, of course, target your obliques. This one is an oblique crunch and a straight arm pullover. Okay, so you can go on your elbow if your weight is kind of light. Mine's sort of medium for this exercise, so I'm gonna go down on my shoulder. Okay, top leg floats, arm goes over, so you're using your tricep and your lats. Pull here, crunch. Tap, pull, crunch. You can also just do this completely body weight. Touch here, crunch. Thinking rib to hip, okay? Four, three, two, one, let's go. Seven, three, two, one, and rest. Roll over to the other side. Great job. And if you feel like that's too much for your arm, for your shoulder, drop the weight or just go body weight, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Tap, pull with the back side of your arm. Ten. Five. Two. One. Roll it over. Fifteen seconds just to get situated again. Evaluate your weight. Go up if you need to, down if you need to. Here we go. Five. Two. One. Let's go. Pull, then crunch. Touch, pull, crunch. Three, one more, two, and switch. Good job. Whew. All right, six, five, take it over top. Two, one, let's go. Good. Good, make sure you're doing okay. Seven, six. Good. 
Nice work. Last 10 seconds right here. Three, two, one. All right. Last round on each side. You're doing great. Two, one, let's go. Good, 15 seconds. You're gonna roll right over without rest and hit the other side. All right, last one of each side. Seven, six. Ready, three, two, one, and switch. 45 here. Seven, three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds to rest. Whew. And we've got a two minute closer, okay? All right, taking your dumbbell, heavy or lighter, whichever you wanna do. Okay, you've got two sit-ups and then roll over for one burpee. So, I've got my dumbbell here. I'm tapping over, left, over, right. Take it back, roll, and a burpee. Okay, and then I go back down and restart. Two minutes on the clock. All right, feel free to take your dumbbell up with you for that um, burpee if you would like. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's get it. Sit up, touch left, full stretch, touch right. Full stretch, roll, burpee. Good job, work on your strength in that burpee. If you can add the push up on the lift and on the lower, you're gonna add more to this. 30 seconds, down. One minute, come on. Strong push-ups. seconds. <sighs> 12, 11. <sighs> Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Come on down to the ground right here. Lay it flat wherever you are and you've made it to your cool down. Amazing job. Bring your hands here together. Thumbs reach back. Exhale. 
Good job. Bring your hands right over top of your chest. Bend your elbows. Now open your elbows out to the side. Try to get the top of your hand and your elbow on the ground. Good job. Roll it over to your left hip. Stack your hands up here. And then I want you to open across your chest, reach over. Okay, you're reaching for the ground behind you and you're gonna look at that hand that's reaching behind you. Good, now over and back. Tap and open. Beautiful job today. So proud of you, give me one more. Open, good, come back in. And let's just switch to the other side, same thing. Okay, open right across your chest. I want you to feel the opening in your chest. Good, come back in, tap and open. This is a good one to do after sleep, after you sit at work all day, after you drive it in the car for a while. Last one. Good, come back in, use your hands to get back onto your hands and knees. Okay, pinky fingers down onto the mat, out front of your head, and then shift your hips back, look up to your thumbs. Nice work today. I'm stretching you here because I know we worked the lats and the shoulders and the triceps a lot today. Good, bring your hands together, keep your elbows on the floor, bend your elbows. Nice work. All right, come on back up, hands and knees, shift your weight backwards onto your feet. And if you can, point your fingertips back to your knees, put them on the ground. Gently put the palm of your hand down and you can bend your elbow just a little bit. Good job. All right, turn it back to the front. Put the top of your hand on the ground, just one side at a time is okay. Just leaning back a little bit to stretch the top part of your arms. Good, switch it over. Good, come on back up onto your knees, gentle push forward. Lift your chin up if you can. Good, come back to the front. Tuck your toes down if you're able, reach back, put your hands on your heels, and then really open chest, chin. Good, make your way back up to standing, nice and slow. Great job today. All right, cross your arm over your chest and pull. And make sure you're leaving this workout today knowing I gave it my all. This was more of a strength focus workout, a little bit of cardio acceleration in between some supersets. I wanted to keep your heart rate up just a little bit, but I wanted the main focus to be the strength portion. Because it was a longer workout, I had time to add a little bit of cardio in there, but I hope more than anything you felt that connection with a very shoulder and tricep heavy workout. And then core was a lot of rotation and anti-rotation. So if I'm rotating, I'm forcing myself to rotate and twist in this transverse plane. The anti-rotation is if I'm in a plank, I'm not letting myself twist down, right? I'm holding this position nice and stable, all right? So a lot of control in the shoulder, the tricep, and the trunk in general. And I'm really proud of you for embracing this workout today. So let me know what you thought of the workout, what you thought of the exercises, and which one you felt it in the most. I wanna know which one you connected with. Like, oh, I really felt that shoulder press rounder. Oh, I really felt the plank body saw. Let me know what you connected with the most, and I'll continue to add that in for our next couple of workouts for the next couple of weeks, all right? Great job today, I'm so proud of you. Hit me with a flex on Instagram, TikTok, wherever you wanna post a picture. Tag me and I'll share it, and I can't wait to see you back here for our next one. Woo! Da da